be showing you how to make your own fuel line. This is going to be used for my diesel truck with AN style fittings. Um, you can kind of see I've got a couple different brands here from the different anodizations colors. So this is PTFE lined braided hose. You can kind of see that here that it's got a clear liner in there. That's the PTFE with a double braid on the outside here. So you need to buy PTFE style hose fittings. And they're a little bit different than the regular hose. So they've got the nut here, you got the ferrule, and you got the actual fitting here. And then here's the other A AN side. This is dash six AN or three eighths hose. Have some cable cutters here. I just they're just electrical grade. So I'm just going to tape it. You want to make sure you put a piece of tape and I'm going to cut in the center of that tape. Just show you how to cut it. Doesn't cut real easily. Obviously I got one, one strand of stainless hanging up here. Just cut that off here. So I can take the tape off here now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a screwdriver and start to fray the the stainless braid out. They do make specialty tools for this, but I don't see the point in spending money on specialty tools that you can do with regular tools if you're not doing it every day. Now if you're doing this for, you know, a living and you're gonna, gonna be making hundreds a year, then I would definitely get specialty tools to make the job go faster. Okay, so we've got it pulled back quite a ways. We're gonna go ahead and put our ferrule on here. The end that is tapered kind of goes in towards the hose. So your thicker end is going to be on this side here. So this piece of tape was there to keep it from fraying back if it would for some reason fray back that far. Obviously it didn't need that, but I'll keep it on there for now. So we've got our ferrule on there. Now we're going to want to trim up the stainless pieces so that won't go past the ferrule. All the excess stainless is cut off of here now. So now what we can do is I'm going to take a little bit of oil, put on the end of here and on the end of this fitting here, and then kind of work it in there. Make sure you take this piece of tape off. Then you can slide this fitting over the stainless and start threading it on. You need to thread it on by hand. A lot of guys put this in a vise. What I'm gonna do, for one, not to mar the finish of the fittings. I don't have aluminum tools, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run some tape across it here. Then take my my wrench, pliers. so they're a little bit better. And just start tightening. This 
fitting as tight as you can go. It is aluminum, so you, you don't want to go super tight and break anything. But you want to get it to about at least a 16th inch gap or less between the nut and the fitting. It did mar it up a little bit. Be better if you had channel locks on both or adjustable wrench on both sides. Because as you can see the adjustable wrench didn't didn't mar up the finish on this one at all. So there's your fitting.